back to the channel hope you're having a wonderful day mike davenport here with louisville's chevy dude one of the top corvette salesmen in the country uh huge enthusiast and as you know an owner as well so not all corvette salesmen out there are owners they're just simply just let's just put it out there just taking your money and that's it so uh i'm not that way i, I think if you're an enthusiast and you have passion for the brand why not buy it as well so uh one of the big things that i've done a lot over the years for my, for my customers and uh i don't know why i've just never done it for myself is put a nova stretch on my corvette so today i'm going to show you how to do that you only need a couple tools uh takes about 15 minutes to put on and i'm talking 15 minutes from the time you get it in the box to go out and get your tools turn the wheels, blah, 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 and uh, put it on. That's how easy it is. So uh, before I show you how to put this on, make sure you hit the description down below uh, because I'm giving away $500 cash to one of my YouTube subscribers. So I'm only doing this on YouTube for the 2018 March Madness Bracket Challenge. All you gotta do is sign up. There's no cost, there's no entry fee, nothing goofy, just have the best bracket. The link is in the description below as well as the password to get into the group. Hey girls, how you doing? So one of the things that just absolutely stinks about the Corvette is you sit here and you take all of your time and all your effort to keep it nice and clean and you take it out and enjoy it and you get bugs all the way up here. And these bugs stick on there because you're having some fun. It's a Corvette, stuff like that. So that's where Nova Stretch comes in. Like I said earlier, I've put these on uh, quite a bit, a number of my Corvette customers, Camaro customers, stuff like that. And I'm gonna show you today how to do it. So I need a couple tools to do that first. And let me get those out and I'll show you how to put this on. So the first thing I need is a T15 Torx. Uh, there we go, 15 Torx. And then you also need a seven millimeter socket. Hey, where's that at? Somebody stole my socket. So I have that as well. So literally, like I said, just a few minutes to uh, get this out. So um, Nova Stretch comes like this. Inside here, uh, there should be, here they are, all the instructions, I'm gonna put this down, all the instructions, uh, how to do it, the warranty card, uh, and all your bolts. I think there's nine of them if I remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, there is nine of them. That's how many times I've done that. Um, the instructions, there's only, is there six steps, seven steps, something like that? five, six, seven, eight steps. Uh, eight steps to uh, put it on and uh, literally to take, once this is installed, uh, to put it on or to remove it, it only takes like 45 seconds to do. Uh, and I'll show you that at the end of the video to take it on and take it off. Um, the first thing we need to do is turn the wheels of the Corvette. So to kind of tell you before I start the installation, I really like Nova Stretch better than like a clear bra or an Expel treatment, stuff like that. I haven't put any Expel treatments on my cars or clear bras, 3M, just because they take away the luster of the paint. They take away uh, the shine of the paint. They dull it a little bit. I know people are gonna sit there and be like, you're crazy, but I've, trust me, I've seen so many. And then the lines, and if somebody tries to wax the car, they get, ink on the uh, or they get wax on the edges it's just so many different things with the clear bra yes the clear bra is uh kind of cool to protect the car but the nova stretch does the exact same thing so let's get the install done and i'm telling you it's much much cheaper too so let's get the install done and uh you'll see why i like this so much better so with the wheel turned, you're gonna see in here that there are three screws. This is where your uh, Torx bit 15 screwdriver is gonna come in handy. We're gonna move all three screws on both sides of the vehicle. So you can see that I'm doing this in a pretty confined space so uh if you do this like over the winter time when you know a lot of us do a little projects on our cars you can kind of pretty much keep your car where it's at so uh don't worry about trying to get it out or if you have it on you know park stops so you don't get flat stops in your tires or anything like that you can just leave them leave them where it's at i've only got about eh, about three feet 
a space where I'm at right here. Just all a matter of turning the wheels and being able to get in there. And of course I have three feet and I'm trying to record as well and make it visual. So the next step is really just unwind your Nova Stretch protecting device here. And you're gonna put it, you're just gonna snap it in. All three snaps, snap in. You're gonna bring it around the edge of the car. And you want this to be tight, okay? So you don't want this to sit here and uh, be real loose. You'll bring this right around here and you'll snap it in. And again, as I mentioned earlier, not a whole lot of room uh, that I'm doing this in. So I'm just getting this put in and snapped in. And now I'm ready to do the front. The next step is installing the snap screws for the bottom. So if you have a car like mine and don't have any ground effects, this would be your, like your level one ground effects, you can only use two screws. I'm personally gonna use three because um, I don't want that extra snap to be sitting there uh, dangling or have option of scratching the car or anything like that. So I'm gonna put all three screws in and this is where you're gonna use your seven millimeter socket. So you'll see the snaps here. Basically what you wanna do is come down here, line it up, and I'm gonna check this screw right here right there is the one the screw I want. I'll line this one up and I'll take either one of the outside screws. These don't line up perfectly, uh, but you'll be fine. And then the last one is right over here and this one will line up perfectly right there. The next step is underneath the hood. I'm gonna pop that and show you the couple pieces that you have to take off so that way you can secure these guys right here. So the next step, which is actually the last step as well, you're gonna be taking these two plastic pieces off uh, on the car. So there's one right here and there's one right here and these are just simply on. You don't need any special tools, just pry them off and you can see I'm just doing it with one hand and now you're gonna take your uh, Nova stretch up here and you're going to put it around this metal piece right here So you can see it fits nicely over that with no problem And then you can choose if you want to put these pieces back on or not I choose to put these pieces back on I don't want them laying around the house. I don't want them lost So on the passenger side, it's the same setup. You just take the little plastic piece off This is got a little bit different design than on the driver's side, but it's the same as same exact uh, protocol as far as putting it on and when Nova Stretch actually changed their design up on this, which I really like this design uh, a little bit better because you used to, used to have to uh, mess with these bolts up here and then went away at that. So you just put these little wire guides back in, push them in, and you're good to go. So that's all there is to it uh, to put the Nova Stretch bra on. Just close the hood and you're good to go. And I want to really say thank you so much to Nova Stretch because they did give me this uh, Nova Stretch. And then of course my buddy, uh, Steve Fast with Hammerdown Motorsports because he's the contact uh, with them. And then uh, let me show you how this is installed and uh, you'll be able to enjoy your Nova Stretch on your Corvette, Camaro, and dare I say crappy Mustangs. I mean, it, it is what it is. They, they are a great company. They make it for all sports cars regardless of I like them or not. So there you go. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you uh, being a part of my channel. I've hit over 6 million views on this channel. It's amazing. We've got to get to 100,000 subscribers though. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and then hit that thumb up as well. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. It's an honor to have you on my channel. Have a great day and drive safely.